Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's question as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. To gain a better understanding of this question, let's take a look at the harmonics lesson from my 10 most commonly missed concepts course. In this course, I walk you through the 10 hardest concepts that are commonly tested on the MCAT. And in this lesson, I walk you through not only what a wavelength is and how um, waves typically work, but I also walk you through open and closed pipes and how to memorize the equations for those and how to understand them on an intuitive level so that you don't miss practice questions on the MCAT. In terms of this question, though, we're basically being asked, what is a wavelength? And this is the most basic definition and the simplest way to view it is that it goes from point of maximum displacement to another point of maximum displacement. It's basically the repeating unit of a wave. Notice that this pattern repeats itself over and over and over again as you continue drawing this wave. For the MCAT though, you need to understand wavelength on a deeper level. For instance, take a look at this image. Can you tell where the wavelengths are for each of these instruments? For the flute, it isn't very difficult because you can easily see where the point of maximum displacement is. So this is the repeating unit of the wave, right? That's the wavelength. For the clarinet, it's almost just as easy. You can see this is a point of displacement. Also realize, however, that you could also measure the wavelength from this maximum point of displacement up at the top. If you really wanted to, you could measure it from any point as long as that is a repeating unit of the wave, okay? So really, on the most basic level, it's not that wavelength is from maximum displacement to maximum displacement. It's that a wavelength is the repeating unit of the wave. Okay? If you look at the oboe, it's much harder to tell where the maximum point of displacement is. But you should be able to notice a pattern in this, right? Notice there's this long, tall, skinny peak. And maybe I could make that my repeating unit right before that peak starts. So there we go. That's a good way to find the wavelength for that one. Saxophone, once again, not too hard just to go to the maximum point of displacement there. So I hope this gave you an idea of how to find the wavelength in a non-traditional situation. The MCAT is definitely going to throw something at you that's more similar to this situation. Let's take a second look at our question stem. It says the wave starts at a displacement of negative 5 units, moves up to 0 units, moves up to plus 5 displacement, back down to 0 displacement, and then back down to negative 5 displacement. We're going from a point of maximum displacement to maximum displacement. Therefore, the place at which we've completed the single wavelength is all the way over at point D. Therefore, answer choice D is the correct answer here. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.